I call them the kings of wheat. They'll tell you wheat crops made in May. Yeah. Like made in May. Mm. You can have amazing looking wheat. We have a crummy May, falls on its face. Yep. You can have crummy looking wheat and a perfect May, it'll break records. Yep. I have seen it. I yep. have experienced that. Well, was it two years ago Iowa had I mean the drought of June or mm -hmm. May and June? I mean, like corn was V V ten ish, and it was been curled up for the tw twenty days. And then the fourth of July hit, and they just got rain, rain. and rain and rain. Guess yeah. what? That corn still averaged above two ten, I believe. Yeah. Today's yield limiting factors in agriculture. Okay, it's not nitrogen. <laughs> okay, we know that. But also, I don't think it's uh, management from V two to V seven. I think we do a dang good job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because we can get into the field. Right. Now it's the idea of can we be even more efficient with our dollars by maybe taking some of that management that we do so well in V2, V7 and just implementing something R2 to R5, something. And I don't care if that's, if you're low on potassium, doing potassium at R4. Maybe it's calcium at tassel. Hmm. You know, there, there's all these little things and there's a lot of these concepts that I, the science is right, right, you know, but does it work on your acre and take some of that management and do it like